Hello, hello, all right, guys. I'm back. All right, I got some Onyx Football 2021. I should be getting about what 10 autographs right here, right? Of who I don't know. I opened one of these like last weekend when I first got this stuff, and uh, I wanted to set some, go ahead and sell some, you know, kind of make my money back right out the gate, then you know, keep a few stashed aside to open. I uh, was gonna like not open these and just like stash them aside and keep for a few months down the road, you know It's it's a long summer and I might need something to crack, right? But we're gonna ride faith here and uh, soon we're gonna be able to find some more stuff between now and then some football anyway um, Worst worst comes to worst. I got some more playoff I think contenders with the playoff Still hangers, right? Yeah. All right, guys, but let's get this we got the onyx. Let's see where our autos are. All right. Let's get it going. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I should have pulled up the uh, draft class before I started this. Well, I haven't started yet. Technically, I can stop the video and start. Eh, let's go. We're already in it. Oof. That's like. Not good. The way I don't like the way that on top of the pack like that. Well, maybe it holds it in place, right? Got that velvet in there. Let's take one last look because I I can't remember. It was four cards per pack. Uh, twenty four bucks in the case. Yeah, we got that. Blue is four hundred. Number to four hundred. Green signatures are to fifty or less. Red signatures are to twenty five or less. And black is limited to five. So we want the black. This is like a legitimate pack. I remember this being like. Ooh. All right, let's see what we got. JC Horn. That one sounds a little bit familiar to me. Let me go ahead and get this. We'll go for it here. JC Horn Blue. So that's the 400. Travis ATN. Okay. I know that one too, but yeah, I can't place it. That's not the guy the Steelers drafted. The guy the Steelers drafted was somebody else. Travis ATN. So both numbered to 400 on that. Kalen Hill was our last rookie. I am going to go ahead. I know it makes for a slow video, but I am going to go ahead and sleeve the autos, guys. Sorry. Like, no offense. I two times a lot of you guys, so. I mean, this video might be a good one to go ahead and two time me to get through this kind of stuff a little bit quicker. Um, let's go ahead and see. Next here. J.C. Horn was the 8th pick. Okay, so he went to... Uh, who, who drafted him as the 8th pick? Carolina Panthers, so that's cool. Alright, top 10 pick. And I know ATN. I know he did. Who did the Jaguars drafted him? That's who it was, because I remember the announcers. I think I was watching the uh, on YouTube, of course. You know, I'm a YouTube guy. The Pro Football Focus YouTube. Uh, that and I don't have cable. Too cheap. <laughs> They stream the services, right? You don't need it anymore. They were questioning whether they had Josh Robinson and another guy where whether they really needed to take that running back there. They were kind of questioning that pick. Demaney Brown. I'm sure I butchered that name, and that's a blue. And we got another guy here. This guy right here, I think he was one of the top tackles as well, wasn't he? One of the top... Uh, Old lineman, no, that was Penny Swell. Or was this guy the Browns guy, the linebacker? Is this the Browns the guy the Browns took late in the draft, right? Like the third or fourth, third or second or third round, something like that? I think it is. Levi Orworski. I think that is him. Well, if that's the case, and 
That's pretty cool. I'm glad I opened this. Getting some decent players here now. I don't know who this brown guy was. Who drafted him? They're all blues so far, though. So that kind of stinks. The blues are the full hundred. Those are the most common ones. And but I got a nice PC hit here. I got a brownie. So that that's pretty cool. I like that. All right, we're gonna make a mess. Like we're gonna have like freaking try not to damage these cats. Getting some players that I actually know. The last box was like the first one probably out of the whole case. It was like a well no, it had the well, it had a rookie that was the the cowboy rookie out of there. So it did have a, a decent rookie, but he wasn't it wasn't the autograph. The autographs were like seventh round pick guys. Indians imploded in the tenth inning, guys. I mean, not unless they can come back, but Still a chance, but yeah, they gave up like three runs in the tenth after battling back in the ninth to come out. Justin Herbert. Now that's not a rook, unfortunately, and it's not an auto, but it's a Justin Herbert base. Robert Kingsley. Okay. And notice, I remember that one too. All sign. Now Liam Itchenberg. Itchenberg. Mm, not really sure. No, and Ben Skolik. I dig this is guys one of the guys autos I got on here. Let's get a lot of Notre Dame cats right here out of this pack, out of this box. But we did get a Herbert base, so not too bad there. We got undesirable autos. It's all blue still. Man, a little unlucky with that. Every one of them has been a blue. But we've pulled some decent players outside of those linemen. We don't really want all the linemen, do we? Should cut that all the way open before I start prying things. Oh! Get what we get what we get. Otis Anderson. Well, that's a PC hit. That's a guy from, uh, I'm not sure if he got drafted, though. Did anybody take him? UCF, boy. That, that dude's a bad dude right there, man. Oh, we got a redemption. Kyle Pitts autograph trading card. Nice. Okay. And a Thomas Graham Jr. cornerback. Not sure who they don't know much about that guy is. And Demonte Cox. So we got a Kyle Pitts. That's the tight end. Right? From Florida. What do you want? Like fifth? Something let me look it up right here and see real quick. Kyle Pitts. What number four? Yeah. So that's cool right there. Woohoo. Used to like the Gators one uh Steve Spurrier was there, man. They had that air it out. And this is a black. I didn't notice that. I almost threw it down. So Thomas Graham, I'm not sure I know a lot about Thomas Graham, but yeah, that's number five of five right there. The other ones aren't aren't wrote on. See, they don't have any writing on it, but this one does. It's a five of five, Thomas Graham black. Doesn't say where they, at least they could maybe put the draft position on there, but I don't know. They get these out pretty quick after the draft, so maybe there isn't time to do all that. We did get the Kyle Pitts redemption. So nice. Retail value on all these, if I was to sell them all, would have been. We got about 60 bucks per box minus fees would have been about 
fifty-four dollars, say fifty some bucks. I mean, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been a lot of meat on this on the bone for these. That's why I just went ahead. And, but I know if I would probably would have waited a few months too, like a while, depending on how this rookie class does, I maybe I could have got. Price usually goes down because the market gets flooded and it goes back up. So, oh, we got another redemption, folks. And who is this? Brevin Jordan. I'm not sure who Brevin Jordan is. Yeah. And a Penne Swell. That's the top. Um. Oh, and look at that. The last last one's a brown guy. Another PC hit. Greg Newsom. That was our first round pick. Well, nicely got his auto. But this guy's the top offensive lineman that he took, and it's a blue. So we just got the we got all blues and then the one black in this. Okay. I don't know what the redemptions are gonna be. What's the redemptions gonna be? Come on, top five, right? Blacks, right? Five of five. One of five, right? So let's do a little recap of what we got here. Um We got the two. Onyx Redemptions, okay, the Brevin Jordan and the Kyle Pitts. We got the autos. We'll go through the autos. What is he, like the Penny Swells, number seven in the pick in the draft. We got a Browns PC hit. I think he was like their second or third round pick. I think they actually moved up in the draft to get him, no? So we got that one. Uh, J.C. Horn, who was what, number what, eighth? Pick in the draft, so we got the seventh and eighth picks in the draft. J.C. Horn at Penny Swell. We got uh, Demai Brown, wide receiver out of North Carolina. I'm not sure about this guy. Go Heels. All right, I'm not sure where he got taken at. And a Travis Etienne. I think he's to the Jaguars, second and third round pick. And then um, that's off the top of my head. Then we got the uh, the only. Well, the two, these two guys, Robert Hainsey and Liam Etchenberg. I remember these guys getting picked. I'm going to guess these guys were in like the first two rounds. Uh, can't really remember. Let me take a scroll through. Hainsey and Etchenberg. I'm not really seeing them there, okay? So I don't think they was in the first round. No, they weren't in the first round. Maybe the second or third. I remember just seeing their names coming up. And then uh, the only black we got was a Thomas Graham Jr. I'm not sure where this guy got picked at all. Five of Number five of five. And then our base cards. Well, not base, but other rookie cards. We did get one base. We got the Brownies. Greg Newsom. Connor Weddington. Devontae Cox. Uh, Otis Anderson. Another PC hit for me. That's staying in-house. Uh, ben Skrowick. Or Notre Dame, Justin Herbert, base card. Adrian Early, Javante Williams, uh, Cole Van Lane, and Kalen Hill running back. So that's it, guys. Um, Not disappointing at all. We got three guys in the top ten, and that's honestly better than I thought it was going to go. All right, so bye for now, and um, off to the next. Later.